Around 1,200 people have been killed in Israel and over 1,300 in Gaza so far. Unfortunately, by the time you watch this video, the death toll will likely have gone up. Today on The Whole Story, let's discuss the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. Israel's retaliatory strikes aren't only targeting Hamas's tunnels. They're also affecting nearly 2 million civilians living in an area of 365 square kilometers, one of the most crowded places on Earth. What's happening in Gaza and why is it called the world's largest open-air prison? As you may know, Israel has imposed a complete siege on the Gaza Strip after Hamas, which is an Islamist militant group, abducted almost 150 Israelis and took them as hostages following a surprise attack on Saturday. Now, these hostages include women, children and the elderly are being held at secret locations inside Gaza. In response, Israeli Energy Minister Katz has declared that no electric switch will be turned on, no water tap will be opened and no fuel truck will enter Gaza until the Israeli abductees are returned home. This is the complete siege of Gaza. As a result of this siege, a humanitarian crisis is unfolding. According to the United Nations, approximately 3,40,000 people have been displaced due to the war, with about 65% seeking safety in the shelters of United Nations-run school. The only power station of Gaza ran out of fuel yesterday. Hospitals are witnessing a growing number of dead bodies. They too are running out of electricity and medical supplies. Beds are full. Those escaping bombs and rockets are seeking shelter in hospitals. Sewage treatment facilities are coming to a halt, leading to waste and disease across the territory. With roads damaged due to rocket strikes, civil defence workers are also unable to reach bomb sites. The Gaza Strip has been under an Israeli and Egyptian blockade since 2007, shortly after Hamas won the elections and took power. Israel also maintains an air and naval blockade on Gaza. In simple terms, Israel controls everything from land, air, sea to the movement of goods and people. Israel and Egypt say that the blockade is necessary to protect against Hamas. But Palestinians and humanitarian groups claim that it's translating to collective punishment. Now, what is the Gaza Strip? It's a narrow piece of land between Israel and Egypt on the Mediterranean Sea. It is one of the two Palestinian territories, with the other being the West Bank, which is occupied by Israel. Gaza is separated from Israel by a separation barrier and has a southern border crossing with Egypt. It's surrounded by walls and fences erected by Israel, and almost half of Gaza's population is under the age of 18. It is infamously known as the world's largest open-air prison due to blockades and surveillance. Gaza residents require special permission to cross into Israel and Egypt for medical and work emergencies. According to the United Nations, approximately 61% of Gaza's population relies on food aid. 31% of households struggle to meet essential education needs such as school fees and books. And the unemployment rate is over 46%. Power cuts last an average of around 11 to 13 hours per day and clean water is unavailable for 95% of Gaza's population. More than 65% of the population lives under the poverty line.